almost anyone interested in 3D graphics heard about a software called Blender. However a lot of people tend to think that Blender, being free, is a program for amateurs. They couldn't be more wrong. Blender is already widely used by gaming industry. But more and more often we can find information of utilizing the software in major movie productions. Here's few examples. The Walking Dead Goodbye Kansas is a Swedish company responsible for some cool game cinematics, but also for VFX in many live-action shows. They've created some gruesome visual effects for 8th season of The Walking Dead. Their main area of Blender usage is hard surface, props and environment work, as well as hair grooming. For The Walking Dead Blender was also used for retopology, UV mapping of human actor scans, and for grooming some cool hairstyles for the zombies. The Man in the High Castle Amazon's alternative history version, receives some incredible visual effects created by Barnstorm VFX. Blender is integral part of their pipeline. They use it for modeling, animation, and rendering. The company said, that although they've been using also other commercial 3D packages, Blender became their favorite, so gradually they shifted to it. Their outstanding work on this TV series was nominated for Visual Effects Society Award. Although using Blender was officially confirmed only for the man in the high castle, we can assume it may have been used also in other Barnstorms projects, like, Silicon Valley, or Outlander. Hardcore Henry A crazy and funny first-person perspective movie from 2015, for which part of the VFX were delivered by a Russian studio, Division. They revealed this escape pod falling scene, to be made with Blender. It involved projecting of the environment, clouds creation and cloth simulation for a parachute. Some explosions and destruction in other scenes were also done with Blender. Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. At 2018 Blender Conference, Jamma Jurabayev, a great concept artist presented some of his work for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. He confirmed designing all of the key dinosaurs for the movie, using Blender's grease pencil and modeling tools, and refining the results by hand in Photoshop. He also presented some concept art for Terminator Genesis, where he used Blender to create a base for his paintings. Warcraft Blender had a tiny share in creating VFX for 2016 Warcraft movie. Visual effects supervisor Bill Westenhofer confirmed in an interview that he used Blender to create an animated character called Murloc, which we can see in a short, few seconds shot. Next Generation Amazing feature animated movie, created by a Canadian studio, Tangent Animation, and available on Netflix. Tangent Animation's pipeline is almost entirely dependent on Blender. Their latest production quality is comparable with Pixar's animations. They've used Blender for modeling, animation, pre-visualization, simulations, hair grooming and rendering using Blender's Cycles engine, and refining the results with Blender's compositing tools. If you know of any other professional productions, where Blender was used for some major work, let me know in a comment. And if you'd like to get more interesting videos, about VFX and its history, don't forget to subscribe.